So breaking at six, the FBI was warned about Nicholas Cruz and in a stunning admission, now admits it failed to investigate a tip about the Florida shooting suspect. Tonight, Florida's governor is calling for the head of the FBI to resign. Investigators say that that tip came into the FBI on January 5th, warning them that Nicholas Cruz had expressed a desire to commit a school shooting and that he owned several guns. But FBI agents did not investigate any further. WBZ Cheryl Fiendaka is live in studio with us. And Cheryl, there were plenty of warning signs here. There sure were, David. Nicholas Cruz was definitely on the radar screen. The FBI had a specific tip that they failed to investigate, and the WBZI team just obtained years of police reports that show Cruz had a history of hurting himself and animals. It only took an hour and 20 minutes for police to capture Nicholas Cruz, but by then, 17 people had been killed and more than a dozen injured. And now the FBI says they got a tip in January that Cruz was planning a school shooting, but that tip was never investigated. If you're a parent of one of the children that was killed, uh, you're not going to accept that from the government. The FBI, in a stunning admission, said the caller provided information about Cruz's gun ownership, desire to kill people, erratic behavior, and disturbing social media posts, as well as the potential of him conducting a school shooting. That call went to FBI headquarters, but that information was never given to the Miami field office. On behalf of myself and over 1,000 employees of the Miami field office, we truly regret any additional pain that this has caused. But that wouldn't be the only time Cruz's name popped up. Broward County sheriffs say they've responded to Cruz's home approximately 20 times over the last few years. And the WBZI team just obtained a number of police reports detailing Cruz's disturbing behavior. In 2016, he was cutting his arms to get attention, and he mentioned he'd like to purchase a firearm. But his therapist, who was on the scene, deemed Nicholas to be no threat to anyone or himself. Another police report stated he had ingested gasoline in an attempt to kill himself, and he was found to have a swastika and hate speech on his school backpack. And in 2014, he was shooting at chickens in the neighbor's backyard. Just last fall, a neighbor took this video of Cruz shooting a BB gun outside his back door. His social media posts show him posing with guns, knives, and dead animals, leaving little question that Cruz was a potential threat. We will conduct an in-depth review of our internal procedures for responding to information that is provided by the public. And court records indicate that Cruz confessed to the shooting. The Broward County Sheriff says Cruz did not appear to have a specific target in mind when he allegedly planned the attack. Attorney General Jeff Sessions has ordered a full review of the incident. David? All right. Thank you so much.